Well, the question I'd like to talk about today is what is the meaning of love in Buddhism? Love, as we use it in our daily life, can have many different meanings. We might use it when we uh, like something or someone, but uh, we might not always understand the deeper meaning of love. The word that we use for love in Buddhism at the spiritual level is metta. Metta is usually translated as loving kindness or by some teachers as goodwill. Um, love in Buddhism has several characteristics which are important for our practice. When we practice to develop love for others in Buddhism, first of all, we develop it for ourselves first. If we love ourselves, we can in that way love other people better. If we have good intentions, goodwill, uh, loving kindness for ourselves, we can also develop loving kindness for other people. These two go hand in hand. Because if we uh, love ourselves, understand ourselves, have empathy with ourselves, then we might realize that just like we are afraid to die, we love our life, we like to be happy, we do not like to suffer. Other people are just like us. When we understand this deeply, we also like to love other people. At the meditative level, you could say that loving yourself means to meditate deeply and to understand yourself at a deeper level. And when you understand yourself at a deeper level, then you also like in meditation when you attain true happiness, to spread this happiness to other people, to the deep understanding and stillness of the mind which you gain from meditation. You consider, you can consider like a powerful means to also develop kindness, good intentions, compassion for other people, starting with the inner stillness of the mind. This is what we could call true love. True love, unlike the love which we usually call love, is not connected with only one person, but is for all living beings without exception. And true love at the deepest level is even loving our enemies. However cliche that may sound, this is possible when we practice. In the beginning, when we practice loving kindness, as we practice it in loving kindness meditation, uh, what we call metta bhavana or loving kindness meditation, we learn to practice loving kindness to ourselves and to those who we love. At the deeper level, we learn to practice loving kindness to those to whom we are neutral, to whom we feel neutral. Like the people on the street, which we do not know, but we do not feel anything against them, but it's just that we do not know them. We develop loving kindness, good intentions to these people as well. And finally, at the deepest level, which is the hardest, the most difficult, to practice loving kindness for those with who we have difficulty. You could say our enemies, our opponents, those people who might compete with us, or those people who have hurt, ourselves, hurt us in the past, or who we have hurt ourselves. These people may be even more difficult to practice loving kindness for, but we can practice. According to Buddhism, Whatever we develop often, whatever we do often, think often, feel often, whatever we say often, that becomes a habit. It becomes something ingrained in our mind, whether positive or negative. So if we develop the good habit of forgiveness, compassion, loving kindness, then love becomes something possible, not just a word in poetry, but actually a real practice of the mind the heart and in the end also 
a practice of your true humanity.